Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa. In the heart of Dixie, this is one of the most electrifying college football atmospheres. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Little is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play on um, first down, no less. From their own 38-yard line, first down. McClellan on the give. Makes it to the 47. That brings up second and one. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Slings it. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. I think the defense that time was, was really anticipating and expecting to run. I think it was a good time to call the pass. It wasn't a huge result as far as the play and how many yards they got, but they did pick up the first down, and I think they caught the defense that time now. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. From the 49-yard line, second down. He's hit and taken down. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Quick throw out to the receiver. About a 10-yard gain that time on the completion on the slant. And this is the eighth play of the drive. the ball. Touchdown Crimson Tide. <laughs> and he converts the extra point. A nine play 75 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 29-yard line. Arkansas's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. That makes it second and one. 
from their own 29-yard line. Second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. You know, I think that time, Brad, the defense tipped their hand with the blitz. You could really see the blitz was coming, and when an offense at this level knows that there's pressure coming, they can make the proper adjustments and then put those wide receivers in one-on-one -on -one opportunities against the defense. And when you blitz, you're really leaving yourself vulnerable to a big play against a, a good offense. Now it's first and ten with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Start. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. That's a tough break, but he's going to get another chance today. What I want to see is if he'll change his running style after losing the ball like this. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled around the 20-yard line. Green gets six yards on the carry. They're about four yards away here on second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it first and goal. And he just gets rid of it. It's second and goal. Eight yards out. He's tackled just outside the goal line. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. The defense wasn't fooled too much by the play action, but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver. They can't hear a thing down there. The Cavalry's coming, and it's almost picked off. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one-yard line. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Got his tight end touchdown. mismatch and exploited it for the score. Yep, you're right. The tight end had that one all the way, and there wasn't much the defense could do. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Little is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. 
He's to the 20. Brought down at the 22. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. run there around five yards there on the option keep second and six ball on the 27 he's on the run and they got it sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack that's what happened there From their own 26 yard line. Third down. Almost picked off. Singletary. Back deep to return. And down he goes to the 39-yard line. Man, I'm not sure if the players on the return team were all on the same page there. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Makes it out to about the 49. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. It complete over the middle. Tackle made at the 48. Turner on the tackle at the 48 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mike 17, Mike 17. Slings it out and it gets tipped. He showed you some of his natural athletic ability following the play and making a really quick stab to knock away the pass. It's second and ten. Ball on the 48. And they make the stop at the 49. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Gets it. He's in space. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. And down he goes at about the 27-yard line. That brings up second and one. Throws out and a leaping interception by the corner. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. And that's a heck of a play for a freshman. This kid has got some athleticism. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Try running left. And they push him out around the 49-yard line. Three. 
Throws complete, and he's hit right away. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. That's a great tackle at the 20-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Mike three, Mike three. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. Brought down at the 13. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. He'll get it again. He fights forward to about the ten. Call it again in three yards. This is the tenth play of this drive. And he is drilled at the 10. No good on the play. Third down. So at the end of one quarter, we get a tie game at 7 7. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. Mike, three. Mike, three. Mike, three. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Alabama is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Fletcher to punt. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Alabama is up seven. First down, Graham. They'll bring him down to the 42-yard line. That's a great job by both the quarterback and the receiver. The quarterback made a great read and throw, and the receiver split the zone coverage with a beautiful post route. Well done. First and ten. Ball on the 42. Stop behind the line. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. Mike three. Mike three. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Zips it to the tight end, and he's tackled right away. bring him down in the backfield. Defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense if he's releasing a safety to stop the run. From the 23-yard line, second down. Alabama is up a score. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Arkansas has gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Heading for the corner. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. He fights forward to about the 39. Taken down, right around the 40. The halfback picks up a yard. And here's another third down. 
The crowd of this stadium always a factor in a football game. Here's a screen to the wideout. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. Fletcher awaits the snap. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Alabama's offensive coordinator. I don't know if he saw something in that defense in that first quarter, but right now they're rolling. You know, they started off a little bit slow, but give him a lot of credit for making the adjustments, and all of a sudden he's made enough adjustments to put his offense in a position to put up a lot of points. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice run up the middle. He goes out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Second down and six. Ball on the 41-yard line. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 40. From the 36 yard line, it's second down. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. A short yardage defense here. Now he's scrambling. Sacked, and they'll turn it over. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. They pick up a good six yards there. It's a nice pickup here, although I'm sure they'd love to get their receivers into a little bit more open space downfield. They're about four yards away here on second down. He fights forward to about the 40. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. He's tackled at the 41. Fletcher is waiting for the snap. He fields it at the 17. 
And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 45 yard line. Alabama will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. McClellan gets seven yards on the play. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Four down, four down. Watch two, watch two. Right there, zero, 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 zero. Yes, four eight. 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 He's at the 30, finds the junior, and they make the stop at the 23. yard line. It's first down. Three. Mike three. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen and down he goes at the 23 yard line. At the 23 yard line. That makes it second and 10. He's looking for his man. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Gets it out quickly. Five, maybe six on that screen pass. Simple bubble screen here to the receiver. He did a pretty good job of picking up some yardage before he went down. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28. So we've played two quarters. Alabama leads it 24-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. That first half performance did anything but thrill this fan base. I was sort of sneaking around perusing the internet a little bit. Oh, don't, uh, go, don't uh, go to those uh, blogs, brother. We, we have some people, they have the hand firmly on the panic <laughs> button right now. <laughs> Relax, take a step back, everything remain calm well i mean for the time being yes it's not over yet it's only 30 minutes they don't last time i checked the games don't go final until you finish the second half and you got time to put something together would i be worried yes am i surprised of how this has gone so far yes but there's still time 
to put some drives together, start any in the third quarter. You've got to get things going early. You can't waste any more time. You just wasted the first 30 minutes. It's time to get something going the first few minutes of the second half. Get some positive mojo going. Hey, maybe even the fans will start cheering again and they'll stop booing and throwing popcorn and stuff. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing has just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. They hook up over the middle. Tackle at the 40. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down around the 37-yard line. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. From the 37-yard line, first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a deep five on the way. That'll make it second and four. Seven got man, man, man. 17's Mike, Mike 17. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Gets it, he's in space. That's a great tackle at the 18-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Wilson gets the call. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. First down here, Brad, by this offense. The receiver's running the football. you got to think as a defensive coordinator, it's one thing to try to defend it, kind of your, your, your traditional offensive attack, but here you got to start worrying about what is this wide receiver going to do. It puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And the defense. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. Pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he converts the extra point. Arkansas ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 27. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. 
Counter left. Gets to about the 27-yard line. No That'll bring up third and eight. Let's go, D. Zero, zero, Mike free. Here's the halfback. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's leveled the 39-yard line. Sanders gains about two yards on the run. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Can't hear a thing down there. Throwing left. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Fletcher is the punter. He just took a licking. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Mike three. Mike three. Let's go. Blue 45. Blue quick throw. And he's taken down at the 37 yard line. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Tackled for a loss. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Steps up. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Singletary is back awaiting the punt. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he is drilled at the 49. First down. From their own 49 yard line, it's first down. Mike 17, Mike 17. 
gains his way to the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. And he just gets rid of it. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And this may be fourth down territory if they can't get a first down here. Makes the catch, and look out. He's tackles around the 35-yard line. First down. Gets out to about the 32-yard line. That's a game of three. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. He's at the 20. And they push him out at the 13-yard line. That's good for him. That makes it first and ten. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball of the 14. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Tenth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick pass. Touchdown, Arkansas! was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. The draw within a field goal. He makes the PAT. Little has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. The Razorbacks staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. Hey, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Play action. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle made at the 41. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Alabama is up by three. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry.
yard line. First down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. Try him again, and this time they've got him in the backfield. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. This is the eighth play of this drive. Roger, Roger. Alabama is up a field goal. There's a strike complete, and down he goes at the 18. End of the third, and we've got a tight one. 24-21, Crimson Tide. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. The five. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. That score puts him in the driver's seat right now offensively. The question is, can the defense hold on here in the fourth quarter? And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 66-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 31-21. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? He's taken down around the 26-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. at the 25-yard line. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Fletcher to punt. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, first down. Mike three, Mike three. He scrambled. 
Brought down at the 39. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Watch nine, watch nine. Mike three, Mike three. He gets to about the 31-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 31. He's on the run. And they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Second and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They'll bring him down at about the 23 yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Four down, four down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. That's another first down, Brad. Right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Fires out to his wideout. And he's taken down at the six-yard line. Number three with the technical at the six-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. It's the ninth play of the drive. Dumps it complete over the middle. What a play, and that is first and goal. It's first down. They'll be looking for six points here. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Touchdown. Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Alabama lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Let's go! Scrambling around. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. That makes it second and two. He's brought down in the open field. That makes it first and ten. 
from their own 47-yard line. It's first down, five wide. Under heavy pressure. And he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. On the catch, and he steps out. Pass complete there for about five yards and a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reversed the call on the field. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. They can't hear a thing down there. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. First down. Throws incomplete. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seemed to be working just fine, except for the quarterback. He's got to throw a better football. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's down. That's a game seven on the play. That makes it third and three. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Complete. He's got room. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the six-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And they make the stop around the four-yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. Touchdown, Razorbacks. And he hits the PAT. at the 44-yard line. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. It's second and six. Ball on the 40. Just over two minutes in the game. He makes his way to about the 32. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. 
Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Just over a minute left. Waits. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Fletcher awaits the snap. He's at midfield. He's tackled at midfield. Pretty good job by the return man there. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Here's the give. There's a very impressive open field tackle. A one-yard gain by the halfback. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Arkansas 28. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>